the night sky. A vast and crazy place that no one really knows about. What we do know is that it's an endless void of darkness. Space consists of galaxies, which are huge rotating collections of gas, dust, and billions of stars, planets, and other celestial objects. Edwin Hubble was the first to discover that there was more than one galaxy and that space was expanding. With the help of the Hooker Telescope, Hubble made key discoveries in astronomy. Today, the Hubble Telescope has been named after him in his honor. There are four types of galaxies, elliptical, spiral, lenticular, and, and irregular. Elliptical galaxies differ in shape and size. One could be round, while another could look like a flattened oval. They are older galaxies, so they have very little gas and dust. Younger stars are not found in these galaxies, but rather older stars. The Milky Way is in this category. These galaxies make up 50% of all galaxies in the universe. The spiral galaxies look like spinning pinwheels or flattened disks. They have a bulge in the middle and two to four spiral arms. The arms contain clouds of gas and dust while the middle bulge contains old red stars. There is a separate section of spiral galaxies that have a central bar pattern running down the middle. Spiral arms then trail from there down. This description separates these galaxies from the original spiral galaxies. Lenticular galaxies also have a central bulge but flat disks of gas and dust surround this one. These galaxies have no arms, but are thought to have had them billions of years ago. Lenticular galaxies are thought to be spiral galaxies that have lost their arms of gas and dust over time. Most galaxies of this kind contain older red stars. Irregular galaxies have no definite shape. These types of galaxies have a lot of gas and dust, even more than spiral galaxies. They have no arms or nucleus and usually contain 100 million to 10 billion stars. These galaxies make up 10% of all galaxies in the universe. Star clusters are a group of stars held together by gravity. All galaxies contain star clusters. They develop together from the same nebula. They are bound together due to gravity, but they travel together. 20,000 open star clusters are found in the central part of the Milky Way. Globular clusters of stars may date back to when the Milky Way was formed. The largest globular cluster in the Milky Way is called the Omega Centauri. This 12 billion year old cluster orbits the Milky Way and is about 18,300 light years away from Earth. Galaxy clusters are a group of galaxies held together by gravity. The galaxy that we live in, the Milky Way, is a part of a group of more than 35 galaxies called the Local Group. This collection of galaxies is more than 10 million light years across. The closest galaxy lies 2.6 million light years away. Its name is the Andromeda Galaxy. It is the farthest object that unaided human eye can see. Quasars are distant young galaxies that produce large amounts of energy that come from supermassive black holes located at its center. Quasars are galaxies with a central region that is more luminous than others. The large amount of energy caused by the supermassive black hole can pull matter into itself by strong gravity fields. It is then converted into powerful energy waves and released back into space. Quasars emit 100 to 1,000 times more energy than the Milky Way. Before the 1920s, astronomers thought that the Milky Way was the only thing in the universe. When they viewed other galaxies, they thought that they were only nebulas containing gas and dust. When Albert Einstein predicted that the universe might be expanding, he changed his equations to reflect that the universe was unchanged. When Edwin Hubble identified individual stars within the Andromeda galaxy, he made one of the most important discoveries of science. He realized that these stars were from a separate galaxy and that the universe was filled with more galaxies. He also noticed that the galaxies were moving away from each other, and the farther the galaxy was, the faster it was moving away. The universe is full of surprises, and more discoveries will be made in the many years to come. But for now, it is still that dark, cold place that is full of the unknown.